In the badlands of eastern Montana, there is a place that paleontologists call Hell Creek. Hell Creek actually refers to a specific geologic formation which dates back to the end of the age of dinosaurs. This formation produces specimens of some of the most well-known dinosaurs, including Tyrannosaurus rex and Triceratops. By far, the most commonly recovered dinosaur in the Hell Creek Formation is Triceratops. The Museum of the Rockies alone has collected over 50 new specimens of Triceratops since the Hell Creek Project began. And when you have such a large sample of individuals, it's possible to learn a lot about variation in a dinosaur. Bones found in Hell Creek may provide answers to questions about the level of diversity in the world of dinosaurs and how it relates to extinction theories. In this scenic but unforgiving landscape, students and scholars from places as far away as the United Kingdom and Japan are led by paleontologists from Montana State University in a search for dinosaur bones. For three months, a small group of passionate, hard-working students lived together at a field station far removed from the comforts of modern society. An hour away from the closest small town, they live in tents, they wash with a hose, and they don't get cell phone service. They do, however, spend almost every waking hour of the day together, and by the end of the summer, become a close-knit family of sorts. Occasionally, the diggers get a day off and they head into town for a night in a motel with electricity, laundry facilities, and a little bit of entertainment. But most of the summer, these adventurers are in the field searching for dinosaurs. Almost every morning, the crew heads out in trucks and then hikes into the field to prospect for new bones or unearth bones that have already been located in quarries. Prospecting for bones in this expansive wilderness may seem like searching for a needle in a haystack. But knowledgeable paleontologists like Montana State University's Denver Fowler know where to look and what to look for. Often you will see paleontologists pick up samples in the field and examine them up close. Trained paleontologists use shape, color, texture, and where a sample was found to differentiate between rocks, other fossils, and dinosaur bones. If a small piece of bone is found, it is often necessary to search higher ground in the area for more bones which may be exposed on the surface. You see these deep blood grooves running along here? So this tells us instantly this is a piece of Triceratops frill. So it was very, very typical. You just need to find a little piece like that with those blood grooves, you know you've got a Triceratops. Once paleontologists have located an area where several bones have been found, they may set up a quarry. A quarry is a location where paleontologists may return for up to two or three weeks, digging out all of the bones that have been deposited in the area. Shovels and picks are used to clear rocks and dirt above the bone layer to create a workspace. The crew then methodically searches the earth one layer at a time using small hand tools or knives. Once a bone or several bones are found, the crew must dig around them to prevent any damage. Some bones are small enough to be removed immediately. To safely remove larger specimens, they cover them in a layer of wet paper towels. Then, using strips of burlap coated in plaster, they wrap the bone sample in a jacket or protective cast. When dry and hardened, the jacket can be separated from the underlying earth. The crew works together to carry these heavy jackets back to camp. Eventually, they are driven to the lab here at the Museum of the Rockies, where preparators carefully and painstakingly remove earth and rock in the jacket to reveal the dinosaur bone. 
Every summer, the Museum of the Rockies discovers hundreds of new bones. The more fossils and bones these paleontologists discover, the more we can learn about the enigmatic world of the dinosaurs. Mm -hmm.